Hey guys, it's Tennis with Tyler, and today we are going to be going over how to hit slow and fast balls. Now, which one do you prefer? Would you rather prefer a ball going 100 miles per hour at you, or would you rather have a ball going zero miles per hour at you? Well, a lot of people, they hate pushers. You might lose 6-0, 6 on a match to someone who drills the ball, but you're going to feel like you played the best tennis of your life. If you play someone who just taps the ball over, even if you win 6-0, 6-0, it still won't feel good. So which one do you guys want to go over first? Let's go over fastballs. So the key word for fastballs is redirect. You want to redirect the pace of your opponent. Think about it. If you ever saw a tennis racket in slow-mo hit the ball, what is the strings going to do? The strings are going to bend back and then go forward. It's elastic, right? So I want you to think that you all you have to do is deflect. All you have to do is redirect the pace. So number one, you have to keep a short backswing. If someone hits super hard at you, you just have to redirect it. So you're going to keep that backswing short and finish forward. Backswing short and finish forward. Just think, all the pace is coming to you and you are blocking it back. Where players go wrong, especially on serve returns, right? When the ball is coming even faster is what? They take too big of a backswing. Yes, pros, they hit, they have a big backswing, right? But if you have a big backswing, you need timing. If you don't have that timing, you need to keep it short. So again, tip one, what are we going to do? We're going to take the racket back short and finish forward. Now, tip number two, you're redirecting pace, right? So not only the racket, but you want to keep your body down as well. If the ball's coming really fast at you, you want to keep your body down when you hit it. You want to get your body down and you want to get into your legs. So tip number two, all you're going to do when the balls come real fast, you're going to go body down and in your legs, body down and in your legs. You're going to keep your body down. Think that you're like bracing for impact, right? You're not going to hit and you're not going to fall up and go everywhere. That's where players go wrong. So I'm blast the ball at them. They go, oh, fight or flight. I'm going to hit the ball as hard as I can and fall over. No, 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 you're going to keep it chill. You're going to, again, short back swing, body down and in the legs. Now, tip number three on how to hit fast balls is what? You want to get your body moving forward. So not only you're redirecting pace off your racket, and not only you're getting into your legs, but watch, once you're done, watch, in the legs, body down, you're going to finish forward. Again, in the legs, body down, finish forward. Come real fast, body down finish for it. If you can get your momentum forward, you will be able to get more control. So that is how you hit high fastballs. Sorry. That is how you hit fastballs. Number one, you need to think redirect. How do you do that? Short backswing, body down, legs down, and you're going to go forward. Now, slow balls, right? What do you have to think? Instead of thinking redirect, you have to think create. You need to create your own pace. Think about it. the balls are going super fast, right? So what do we got to do? You got to keep the body down. Now, when it's super slow, what do you have to do? You need to create your own pace. You're not redirecting pace. Pace isn't coming at you. You need to create it. So what are you going to do? You're now going to create the pace. Where players go wrong when the ball is going super slow is that they expect the ball to come at them, right? They expect to redirect the pace. But no, you guys got to start it from scratch. It's like you're making like pasta from scratch or something like that, right? So the ball's super slow. It's coming super slow. Watch what you're going to do. You're going to move up to the ball. You're not going to let the ball come to you. You are going to go to the ball. So number one, you're going to get up to the ball. You're not going to let it come to you. By getting up to the ball, you're going to get forward momentum, which will in return hit what? It will help you create pace. Number two, what you're going to do is you're going to take a lot of steps. Don't take one, two big steps and wait there. What you're going to do is, again, you're going to move up lots of steps, lots of steps, and then go forward. And tip number three, you're going to stay down. Any, I mentioned this in every single one of my consistency videos, how to be more consistent, got to keep your body down. If you hit, people go wrong because they play a pusher, they take one step, they move their body up, and, ah, and it goes long, right? That's why we suck at playing pushers. If you keep your body down, you get into your legs, you take lots of steps, you finish forward, that is how you are going to be able to create pace. Think, the other tips, what did we go? We, we went over how to create the pace. We went over how to create the power. But now what are we doing? We're going over how to get the control. So body down, lots of legs move forward, and keep your body down. Ah, I was too tight right there. Let's do another one. Here we are. Body down, create the pace forward, and go. Let's do one more. <laughs> And that is how you do it. Another thing, and I just did it wrong on my first rep, is what? I held the racket too tight. 
think. The ball's coming super slow at you. What do you want to do? You want to grip that racket tight and try to fight it. That's how you're going to create pace. No. How do you do it? You need to hold the racket loose. So you're going to move up the ball, hold the racket loose, move through the ball, keep your body down. And the last tip that I'm going to give you guys is what you guys need to play with spin. Any ball that comes over to you super slow, what are you going to do? Legs down, legs down, move forward, tons of spin. Legs down, tons of spin. Here we are, backhand legs down, tons of spin when you hit. By hitting tons of spin, you will be able to get the ball in. It's just going to give you more margin for your shot. So again, if you ever have a ball with no pace, legs down, lots of feet, tons of spin, body down, and you will be better off. So again, I want you to think when power, if someone hits a hard ball at you, what are you going to do? You're going to redirect pace. If you guys forget the tips I gave you, feel free to go back in the video. And if you have no pace come at you, what are you going to do? Instead of redirect, what are you going to do? You are going to create. So redirect or create, and you guys will play better tennis. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything else, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow, make sure to subscribe. Tennis with Tyler and happy hitting.